With the release of advancement results just around the corner, Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy Mike Stevens wants to remind all sailors of the importance of not only conducting the training required to be promoted, but properly documenting it. The Navy Leadership Development Continuum, sometimes called Petty Officer Indoc, is required for selectees prior to being frogged to their new rank. When we do something, we know that it's not complete until it's properly documented if there's an administrative requirement for documentation. So to do it and not document it is to essentially say that it hasn't been done. You might uh, acquire the skill sets that this training enables you to have, but so that we know who's done it so we can properly track it and ensure that it's been completed, we must document it when we've completed it. McPon also said chiefs are ultimately responsible for ensuring all training is properly documented in the Fleet Training Management and Planning System or Fleet Temps. I believe that nobody has more responsibility for the development of leaders in the enlisted ranks and in some cases within our officer ranks than the chief petty officer. And I ask all my chief petty officers, and I was recently on a trip uh, to the Pacific Northwest and spoke to some CPO messes, and I asked my chief petty officers to be fully engaged to, in delivering the training that's required of our sailors and to do so from the heart and with passion and to make sure that they themselves have completed all the necessary courses that's required of them as well. Sailors can contact their local training representative to verify the information is correct and up to date. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Matthew Halls.